my dear seniors friends now today we have got another topic to discuss cultural studies i think we have already done uh, five of them that is one is first one you remember uh, raymond williams uh, that is uh, culture is ordinary and second one is two paradigms culturalist and the structuralist by stuart hall and there is by simon buring popular culture value and fourth uh for this john story isn't it john story is yes. what is popular culture and the uh, fifth was gulf war will not take place the famous essay by bodlier isn't it where he argues he looks at the gulf war from the point of view of post structuralism that is after structuralism no structure <laughs> that is what these people say because the only tool with which we can approach or understand language is uh, the, uh, understand the world is language and language is unstable therefore reality is not you cannot reach reality you cannot somehow even go near reality that's why bodlier made that statement of end of everything so so in that light you should look at his argument not that not that don't look at it from a historical point of view or even a sociological point of view but look at it from this point of view that is it is a structureless world everything is structureless so gulf war is also structureless understand that but of course behind this there is structure all these things i think i have told you okay now this is the sixth topic for us toys as i already told you i am sticking to the syllabus of Mahatma Gandhi University in Kerala, and I think that most of the Indian universities follow the same syllabus, and that is the reason why I am giving a series of lectures on cultural studies here. And I, I would like to request you, if you like it, if you enjoy my lectures, if you think that my lectures are useful to you, you must subscribe my channel and also ask your friends to subscribe. So back to toys, okay. I consider this as a toy. This channel as a toy. Okay, don't give much importance to this. But you can, of course, you get information from many other places. But consider this as a toy. All right. So now we are coming to these toys, and I think there are only five points to discuss. And these five points are one: the attitude of attitude attitude of el uh, eldest. towards or elders or adults we can say that's better of adults that the word used here you know, towards uh towards younger ones okay towards younger ones so the step one itself is wrong according to that we will see what is the problem the second point is you said the type of toys type of toys Uh, that they give to the younger ones, type of toys. And third is a series about the toys are prescripted. Prescripted signifies signifies prescripted signifies uh, meant for meant for. Uh, meant for making the young ready for adult adult roles prescription sorry and the fourth point is the substance of the toys substance That is plastic, chemicals, plastic chemicals, plastic and chemicals. And the last point, in place of, place of wood. Is that so? I think half of the work is done <laughs> because the essay is very simple. You can read it and understand. So Barth says, Barth as a writer, we can say, famous statement you remember, death of the author. The author dies. That is what he says. 
ओके इतिहास के बाद अदर कोनोटेशंस एंड डिनोटेशंस एंड सिग्निफिकेशंस वी विल नॉट एंटर इनटू दैट नाउ हियर बिकॉज़ दैट इज नॉट आवर टॉपिक आवर टॉपिक इज दिस टॉयस एस ए एज यू कैन सी दिस मेन ऑन रोलैंड रोन बाथ और इट्स रेड टू बी ए जेनस फेस राइटर जेनस जेनुइनली जेनस द रोमन गॉडस हु लुक्स बैक एज अ लेस फॉरवर्ड That's why the January gets the name from the Janus phase. Means January looks back and also forward. That's the thing. So Janus phase, I I mean, he was structuralist as well as post-structuralist. In that sense, I tell. I, in that sense, we are using that uh, word for uh, describing the attitude of Barth uh, because he was structuralist. He began as a structuralist and then he. Ended as a, ended up as a post structuralist. So in toys, the first main point is the attitude of adults towards younger ones. So adults consider the younger ones not as young adults but as small adults. Smaller adults. That's the problem. They consider these people as smaller adults. See, now at home we can see now you have got children at home. The old people, so the elder people or the or the adults, they always say, "Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't." You know why? Because they expect the children to behave like themselves. That's the. They don't accept the fact that they are children. So whatever the children do is actually is natural and it is normal, and they should do it like that. Understand that? You know, when I give you an example, suppose. A child comes from school, and the door, the gate is open. But what will a child do? You know, a very what I mean, a smart child. He will not use the gate. He will jump over the wall. And then when you, when an adult looks at the other, what nonsense is this? You say, you are the gate open and you are jumping. Yeah, suppose your leg breaks, then all imaginations will work. His imagination. My leg breaks. He'll take him to hospital. Then uh, the doctor will uh, operate on his leg, and for two months he will lose his. Uh, there'll be bandage or plastering, and uh, he will lose his uh, glasses. He won't be able to. And it goes like that. And then well, all the expectations of this adult has, has probably, as we can say, has vanished. And therefore, what happens is he gets angry and terribly angry, and sometimes he beats him. Why? The simple reason is that he does not accept the child as a small adult. No, as a young man, he thinks that he should behave like a an adult. That is the reason. So the problem with the French toys, actually, you know, all toys, and especially in this case, he is speaking about the French people. So this is part of their culture. They say it's taken from mythologies, mythologies. It's famous book, no mythologies, and mythologies. He he exposes the myths of the society, myths of the society. Understand that? Why? That's why taking each aspect of social life. This is one aspect of social life. Very important aspect, you know, because the formation is. If you are always saying don't, 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 like Ten Commandments, do not this, do not kill, do not go, do not look there. What can you do? If you are, what, if you are, what you call, you know, bombarding the child with the Ten Commandments, what will happen to that child? Miserable condition. That's all I can say. Probably some of you might have experienced such a excruciating pain and suffering when you were a child. Just because the adults they consider them not as young, not as growing up children, but as adults already. This is point number one. That's one of the cultural aspects of the French society, and that's what he is uh, he is criticizing. So the second is the type of toy. The type of toys are uh, the miniature forms of the things with which an adult interacts. An adult interacts with what? Railway station. That is not the first thing, but very often you go railway station, car, train, lorry, isn't it? Then. Taxis, then what else? Kitchen, table, chair, furniture, kind of car, jeep, then scooter, uh, then do, and uh, what, are, uh, what other things? 
uh, utensils in the house, TV, radio, if you have got a radio, a camera, if you have got a camera, bulb, light, fan. So what the type of toys that are provided to the children by the adults is because they think that these are adults. So they are miniature adults, they are miniature adult, uh, adult type life. And so they are uh, giving these things to them. And uh, what is the end result? Sorry, the, the, what is the problem here? It's not that they are given these small things. No, not that. Or they are interacting with them. Not that the problem. The problem is they have no scope for any creativity. This is ready-made given. Everything is given ready-made. So they use it, they own it, and they find that something goes wrong, they throw it. Already the child learns the use and dispose. The use and dispose impression he forms in his mind goes deeper. So use and dispose. As a result, what happens? Modern life, the so-called post-structuralist life, what happens? They use and dispose their parents' house. So you have got old age homes, number of old age homes, isn't it? So if you are poor, then you will be going to poor home or a poor house or other if you are rich you pay a huge amount of money and then some people will look after you look after you in inverted commas understand that yes. now you are, we are going to experience that and my time is very near now okay that's personal don't worry about that so that is the type of toys the type of toys are the type of things which with which an adult interacts with so he comes into contact with these things. The, the problem here is again, capital letters, there is absolutely no scope for any creativity. See, you know, you, I remember you know, when I was a young child, we did not have any of these things from markets. We used to make our own toys from bamboo sticks. Then another thing I remember is uh, coconut leaf. You will take coconut leaf and make a board with that. Understand? Then another thing is, you know, there is a gun, a shooting. There is some, there is a, there is a uh, something, a plant which which has got branches like this. But inside the branch there is a hole. So we will cut another piece of wood which will fit into this hole and uh, buy, uh, and pluck some fruits. Some very hard fruits are there. See, then we put the inside and then shoot it. So the, the whole thing we have to make, we have to make for ourselves. Remember stars during Christmas. We used to make our own stars. Go and cut bamboo sticks and prepare it and then bring uh, paper, colored paper from the market and then make a gum in our own homes. You don't get this, those, this quick fix and uh, other things that is available, you know. Now you don't get it. So you make your own gum. So a lot of things we are doing, you are getting engaged, that's the thing. Creativity, see the color, the different color, etc. But these days you have got, you walk into a shop, you get any type of stars. Even stars, the type of stars which even God would be, when, when God looks at this, he will be wonderstruck and thunderous. Understand? <laughs> yeah, that kind of So type of toys, no creative. And uh, Bar says they are prescriptive signifiers meant for making or training the younger ones for future life. See, for example, they get doors. Doors which will drink milk and urinate. Suppose that is in the in the hands of a girl, a child. So that means one day she may be thinking that I will be, I will be mother role. You can see now. That a child uh, drinking milk and urinating, how to uh, manage and so on. Drivers, driver, driver roles, teachers, teacher roles, uh, managers, manager roles, then uh, bomb makers, you are giving them small bombs. No, yes. The only exception may be for that if guns are violence. Right from the first day you get a gun, that means you have violence has gone into your, in your heart isn't it? or in your brain. If not, if you are sensation centers, there is violence. Understand? Yeah. With this, along with this, always you find what is called this TV programs for young children. Now, then it will be the whole story is complete by that. 
So here what? Prescriptive for future roles. So like uh, for girls, mother. Otherwise, for other uh, kitchen. So get a, a small miniature kitchen with all the utensils. And they start cooking right from the younger days. So they think that in future they have to do like that. Nurse, they have to do like that. Doctor, they have to do like that. Engineer. Stethoscope, a small size stethoscope, and he goes around examining patients. So, this, so this. But remember, there is no creativity, and it all, all this come from attitude, attitude of not considering the children as a smaller, smaller. Uh, sorry, considering them as younger adults. They consider them as smaller adults. Yes. And then you see, and also it is bureaucratic. These toys are bu bureaucratic. They don't get toys of a farmer. They don't get the, uh, the toys of a beggar. Actual life, you know, or a cancer patient. <laughs> Nothing of that sort. They get this uh, white color jobs and um, what, is called, uh, what do you call the high society life, airplane, pilot, and all. So it's a bureaucratic type of the bureaucratic life goes deep into the mind of this young chaps. So ultimately what you have to say, smaller adults and the second key point is no creativity. No creativity. There is absolutely no scope for a creativity in the mind of the child because they simply they just become what you call honest and useless. Smaller adults are not Younger adults. Younger. And I told you, your own experience you can see from your life, childhood. That's the point. These are the two main points actually, isn't it? That is yes. And now we come to the substance with which these toys are made. That is either plastic or chemicals. Some of them are hurting also. Some of them, they, they even, they can even cause diseases. And they can wound the child. So sharp edges are Sharp corners are and it is very cold even you say. And as uh, Bart says, if one or two spring is lost or uh, damaged, then some part will protrude like this, as hernia. <laughs> and then what will happen? The child will throw it away. That's, that's the end of it. He doesn't want to see that he wants a new one. Use and dispose. So substance is also artificial, chemical, and uh, it's very cold and plastic not attractive, artificial colors, so everything is artificial with the toys, and so it is not dull. The toys do not inspire the child. Toys do not give any scope for creativity. Therefore, what happens? The child becomes dull, melancholic, and, and weak. Means no imagination, not physically, but mentally weak. Understand that? Yes. And then the last point here is in place of wood. So Bar says that wooden toys. Think of wooden. Wood is hard. Wood is soft. Wood is warm. Wood is never, you cannot, you would never perishes. You cannot destroy it as such. But what happens is it dwindles in size. As the child grows up, bigger and bigger, his toys become, get dwindled, so to say. Then some part of it may slight damage. This with this plastic toys, one da once damaged is gone forever. But for wooden toys, you can correct it. You can repair it. See that? And the wooden toys, there is wooden toys. There is some kind of uh, a, a feeling of synchronization in their growth. It takes place in the mind of the child, and it can never, it cannot be totally destroyed, so to say. And it itself does not perish. Even after the child grows up and they become some a great man or occupies a great position in the society, the toy will be there. See, just think of the cradle made of wood, a wooden cradle. Wooden cradle will remain there till even the second generation will be able to use that. If you have got wooden toys at home, you can see. Maybe a piece of wood may be destroyed or a slight, what do you call it, a slight uh, a piece might be might have lost something like that, but the thing is there, and you can still use it. 
apply some polish or something like that, then it becomes new. Or you can repair it. But this plastic toys are irreparable. You cannot repair them. The only way is to throw them. So, so here what happens, you know, when you, when you are giving the child wooden toys, there is a kind of friendship developed between the toy and himself. And the, this wooden toys, if he wants, he can make slight changes also. The, the creativity of the child will work there. Understand that? And it doesn't hurt. It is soft, smooth, hard, but it is friendly. So he praises uh, wooden toys. So this is one of the aspects of culture that he, he criticizes, especially in the French society. Understand that? So there are three, only three points to remember. One is the attitude of the adults towards the younger ones. They consider them as smaller adults. They think that they should behave like them. And secondly, there is no scope for creativity. And thirdly, comparison between wooden and plastic or chemical toys. Plastic or chemical toys is, we can say it is no, it creates nausea in the in the mind of the child. See, he uh, he doesn't love it. That's why now he throws it away. When it is useless, he throws it away. But wooden toys are not like that. According to Roland Barth. Not uh, these are these are not my views. <laughs> that is the these are the views of Roland Bar. So he says that uh, in price of wood, therefore you must give wooden toys to the children. So when you grow up, you get married. It's not far away. You are already PG students. Soon you will uh, get some jobs, UGC net, and get lecturers or whatever it is. Get married when you have children. Then you should see. You should remember this. You should give. Give our children only wooden toys and also create and also provide scope for creativity. Of course, he says there are some blocks like plastic, they're made of plastic and so on, which, which you can make different shapes. That is the only saving grace as far as plastic toys are concerned. Otherwise, there is absolutely nothing. The child becomes bad. This is a monotony, see, and boring for the child. But what about this wooden toys? Wooden. So we can say in the he was his uh, bath was also a great environmentalist. Yes, he was like a great environmentalist. He was for toys and also this uh, uh, plastic toys can create a lot of uh, what we call you know waste disposal problem. How are you going to dispose this? If it's a plastic toys, you can use it for firewood. As instead of firewood, you can use. It. But what will you do with the plastic toy? So, yeah, at least, as I in the next coming the two or three years time, we should also get rid of all these plastic toys. <clears throat> and the remote working uh, toys. Uh, this is you have got remote working. Uh, so again, that makes you what is called a lazy, isn't it? Yes. So, let us provide, you uh, should provide your children with the uh, wooden toys. And also scope for plenty of uh, creativity and with this optimistic note today let us wind up this discussion on toys and as I told you you can you can free of course subscribe to my channel so till we miss, meet next time take it easy bye bye have a nice time